got a message from housing saying that I need to move to a different dorm building because like they're probably just going to shut down half of the dorms. So basically I have to go to the other side of campus and I've started to pack up and this is like the last couple of days that I'll be in my room. I've been packing like since I got the message. Like I really want to just get everything over there tomorrow and just start moving in because going back and forth is kind of tiring and also it's just not that efficient. So yeah, I'll show you what my room looks like. As a last hurrah in my room. So this is just stuff that I need for tonight and tomorrow morning. These are things that I am getting red staff to help me move. I'm not done packing this. And then these two boxes are full. This one is empty. I'm probably going to try and stuff my mattress topper in there. And then that's, I'm holding that for someone else. Empty box. This is like my new laundry bag. I'm drying my bottles to pack. Here are my plants. I'm probably gonna take them over. And then these are the bottoms of some green onion that I bought yesterday. I'm not keeping my shade all the way up because this it just gets so warm in my room with the sun directly on it. Here's some food I need to bring over. Bananas, crackers, tomato sauce, and then two avocados and two oranges. The avocados are getting ripe way too fast. And then this is a brownie that I didn't eat. I want to keep these bubbles, but I really don't know when I'll use them. And this is a cat headband that I have with Bryn, and I don't really want to throw it away, but I don't really have use for it. My roommate's trash can that I kept, my backpack, other stuff on my desk, and then I need to pack all my bedding and also my towels. I don't know. I think I'm gonna miss my room a little bit because I've just been here for so long. My closet has never been this empty. Yeah, I feel like I'm just playing Tetris while packing. We've moved out. Bye. just spent the entire day like unpacking cleaning getting rid of bugs because i kept seeing bugs in room. okay i only saw three but like i literally cried when i saw this dead bug under my bed and i was calling my mom just because like it kept freaking me out and for some reason i couldn't look at it and i just like was like bursting into tears and my mom was like just sweep it out like bro it's chill and i was like <laughs> but I got it out so I thought I'd give a tour because my new room looks really freaking nice so we come in shoe rack and then this little vanity area then we got a mirror then we got this huge closet like this is a single room like a closet for one person I have two suitcases in there like it's just huge okay then let's talk about my window, which is just like ginormous, and these little nice storage cubbies on top. And there I have like all my food and seasonings and stuff. Like these windows. I don't really know where this is, but it looks quite nice. The only problem is they mow the grass, so sometimes it gets pretty loud. But honestly, that's not that bad. Here's my desk. A trash can that I found from a suspin. Here's my green onions that I'm trying to propagate and my bamboo that I got during orientation. And then here I still have all my food and stuff and then my bed. I just washed my bed sheets so that's why there's no sheet on it. But yeah like there's so much extra space to just like I don't know, do yoga with my mat, which I'm not really gonna do, but like this ground is really nice. Like I would actually walk barefoot on it, except I keep finding freaking bugs, which are scaring me. But yeah, I would like never walk barefoot on the ground in my old dorm because I don't know, it's just not very clean and nice feeling.
but yeah i'm really excited trying to run but i suck at running so i haven't really made it that far and i just saw a dead frog laying in the middle of this hill that we run over for practice and i didn't see it until i was on the way down i've never fucking sprinted so fast oh my god like his little legs oh disgusting it's so hot today i haven't worn a tank top in so long and i feel like i'm gonna get sunburned because i'm running out of sunscreen and you know what this is the sacrifice we have to make i just really feel like i need to sweat and listen to this podcast so maybe i'll do some court after this i talked to my coach yesterday and she made me feel really um oh that's a pretty bird she made me feel not bad but like you know it kind of motivated me a little bit but my motivation never really lasts that long so we'll see also i do have a mask in case i run into people it's just that my face is literally getting steamed just washed a freaking bug I was trying to kill it over here and it swooped up and ran back into this little hole on the wall. I am disgusted. I'm currently walking to Whole Foods. I'm like halfway there and so many shops are closed but I just saw Starbucks open. There's like five workers in there. I'm very confused but you know what? It's okay. It's like seven. It's like almost eight. I am so tired after I got back from Whole Foods. I put everything away, took a shower. I ended up spending a bit more than I thought I would just because I kept seeing stuff that I didn't expect to find. Like I found kimchi, which was so friggin' expensive, but I bought some anyways because I really wanted it. And then I ended up getting all the meat that I wanted and I got a lot of oranges, so that was really good. I'm just really excited to have a lot of choices of what to eat instead of just like trying to salvage the tiniest pound of chicken breast that I had from last week. But yeah, I'm just so tired now. <laughs> so, look at the deer. 